Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'd like to lead you on a tapping session about playing to your full potential. This is a sports performance session designed for athletes in mind who are training or on a team or have a specific goal in mind that they would like to achieve. And it can be, you know, it can be applied to many other areas in your life, but I'm really designing this for athletes people training for something big and important or just on a team. It's designed to help clear away any fears that you may have, any blocks that you may have about failing or not being good enough. Or um, It's meant to help you reclaim any dreams that may have been stolen when you were younger of people who may have said you're not good enough or whatever, you'll never make it as a baseball player, whatever it is, a golfer, whatever. And uh, so this is really about that, to help you feel and consciously and through the cells of your cells know that you're awesome and can do anything you want to do as an athlete, right? So if you are choosing to tap along and watch this video, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. Let's get started. Even though carrying a little bit or a lot of bit of fear, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I'm carrying some fear about losing or failing or not playing up to my full potential, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I may be carrying some fear of failing or messing up or making mistakes, failing in some way, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I might be carrying voices inside me of people who said, you can never do it. You're not good enough. You're not disciplined enough. You're too short. You're too small. You're too big. You're too heavy. Whoever tried to steal my dreams in this moment, I reclaim them. And I choose to love and accept myself as a talented and gifted athlete. Even though I may have believed them somewhere inside for years, maybe decades, I choose to love and accept myself. And I choose to reclaim my power and to honor my gifts and talents that my body possesses. There's been so much fear of failing. There's been so much fear of what my parents might say, or my friends. Perhaps my parents and trainers and coaches were driven to the point of obsession. And in a way, it perhaps crippled me in some way in my heart with fear. I choose to let them all go and to forgive them. I choose to know that they just wanted the best for me in their own way. To all those who said it couldn't be done, I choose to prove them all wrong. And if perhaps someone told me at an early age how awesome I was, how gifted and talented I was, and if I took those words and twisted them to mean I didn't have to work hard or train hard or practice, I choose to love and accept myself. 
and I choose to accept the gold of what they said and know that I need to train, practice, and work hard. Today I choose to forgive anyone who told me I couldn't do it, who wouldn't support me. I choose to forgive them and let them all go because I want to be free. I choose in this moment to reclaim my dreams. I choose in this moment to celebrate my body and the special skills and abilities it has. And as I train and practice, I seek perfection. And yet in this moment I choose to love and accept myself. If I don't achieve that just yet. I choose to know that failure is part of the process. That bogeying the shot, missing the basket, striking out, it's all a part of the game and the practice. Today I choose to have fun doing whatever it is I'm doing, to celebrate my body. Today I choose to be grateful for every swing, every step, every stride, every stroke. Grateful and amazed for my glorious body. I choose to release and clear out any fear of failure. I choose to release and clear out anything in my way of playing to my full potential. And if I've become so driven and want those trophies and records so much that I've forgotten how to have fun, I choose to let that go and have fun. It's okay to want trophies and set records. It's all good. I also choose to have fun. To celebrate everything I'm doing with this glorious body. Today I choose to release any what-ifs, any what-ifs of fear. What if I miss that shot? What if I'm not fast enough in that swim meet? What if I fall? What if I get hurt? I choose to transform all those what-ifs of negative things into what if I win? What if I make the Olympics? What if I get in the Hall of Fame? What if I win the gold? Today I choose to let go of any feelings of disloyalty that I may have somewhere inside towards those who said it couldn't be done. Family, parents, loved ones who didn't believe in me, who wouldn't support me. I choose to let them all go. I'm not being disloyal in any way. In fact, I'm being loyal to the Divine Creator, to my body, to my dreams. Today I choose to transform any fears into courage. Any doubts into confidence. I choose to focus on the thing that I want to achieve. I choose to visualize and see and feel and smell and taste myself doing it. I choose to rehearse it and see it. To see it in light and love. 
the thing I want to achieve. Choose to breathe with every step, with every stroke, with every shot. I choose to see myself playing to my full potential. I choose to know that my full potential is divine. I choose to know that my full potential is unlimited. I choose to see and feel myself doing the thing I want to do and attracting into my life any trainers, tips or skills, any secrets to help me do better right into my life and my path. I choose to have fun. I choose to play hard. I choose to be grateful for this body, for the gift and the privilege to do whatever the sport or event I want to do. So grateful for the opportunity. I choose in some way to give back to the world and the universe, to share my gifts for the good of all to share my story and my inspiration for other people. It's all a part of playing to my full potential. I choose to shine. I choose to crush that ball. To set records. To make the Olympics. To do whatever I want to do. I choose to shine. To reclaim my dreams. To forgive and let go of anyone who said I couldn't do it. I choose to imagine them, see them in my heart and mind's eye. All coaches, trainers, parents, family, friends. I choose to visualize them all supporting and loving me. Seeing me in my glory. I don't necessarily need their approval, but it's nice to have, and I choose to imagine myself having it. I choose to see myself shining, playing to my full potential, which is unlimited. Today I choose to love and accept myself. To love and accept me for me. To be grateful for all that I can do and will do. I am awesome. Powerful. I am strong and healthy. I am focused and driven. I am passionate. As well as compassionate. I am kind and sportsmanlike, and I can have fun. I choose to love and accept myself, have fun, and to shine. So, my dears, whatever it is you're doing, go do it. Have fun. And let me know how you did. And if you want any other tapping for any specific sports or anything like that, any sports performance issues, please let me know. Be happy to help in any way that I can. This is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for watching. Take care.